Now, Lord McAlpine has already accepted a payout of £185,000 from the BBC over his libel claim, and ITV is the next in line and could face a much higher demand. The legal action comes after the TV presenter Philip Schofield handed the Prime Minister a list of alleged child abusers he'd gleaned from the internet, which included the peer's name. Well, our political correspondent Michael Crick is in Westminster tonight. Michael. Well, Cathy, uh, a couple of weeks ago, Lord Alistair McAlpine had barely heard of Twitter. Well, tonight, he and his lawyer have really set themselves at the head of a campaign, almost a crusade, one might say, to teach the world about the dangers of Twitter and other social media, which they see as very much largely unregulated. And now, quite apart, this is quite apart from their libel actions against the BBC and ITV and other other people in the in the Twitterati. They're determined to show the world that at times Twitter can be fun, but also that it can be a very vindictive medium. Well, earlier I spoke to Lord McAlpine and first to his lawyer, Andrew Reid, about the action that they're taking. Andrew, can you explain to us where you are with all your legal actions right now? Well, I think I will say um, that we're in meaningful discussions now with um, ITV. Um, they don't quite see it, see their transgression as being as serious as that of the BBC, whereas our advisers see it as being far worse, um, particularly because it looks as if it was premeditated. So you're, you're, you're seeking the, a lot more than the 185,000 you got from the BBC. You're seeking a lot more than that from ITV. Well, we think they should be paying a, a little bit more than that, yes. And where are you on everything else then? I mean, all these people who've tweeted about it. Well, this is very interesting. First of all, I'd like to thank those who have apologised and sent in their apologies. We will be responding to them individually. Including the, the, to just now the, the comedian uh, Alan Davis. Well, I'm surprised that he hasn't apologised a lot earlier, bearing in mind the huge amount of tweets. What I'm really talking about are people who are under 500, who have written in under tweet... Five, under 500 followers? Yeah, followers who, who, who have sent out no more... Yes, that's right, no more than 500 tweets to, any, in their, in their, to their group. Um, that basically these people, we're going to ask them to make a donation to charity and there'll be a, you know, some sort of um, administration fee for sorting it all out. Um, but the higher people, the people sort of Mrs. Burke, for example, or, or Alan Davis, obviously this, this is a completely George separate Montbeau, matter. George Monbiot, the journalist? Again, a separate matter. So these people can expect to be having to pay a substantial Well, they will sum, be receiving letters before action, but obviously we're compiling it. We now have even more specialist software than I had last week. For example, I can see how many followers they had. You'd heard these allegations many years ago at the time of the, the Waterhouse inquiry. Oh, yes, yeah, and it had been all gone over, and really, apart from a few people on the uh, internet has gone away. Were you not tempted to, to ring up Newsnight and say, what are you playing at? No, not really. I, I, I was in shock to a large extent. and I didn't have their number. I didn't know where to find them. I didn't know. I, I was living in southern Italy. I don't have a telephone. The astonishing thing about that day was that you heard, I think, a couple of times from me, but but they never rang you? They never rang me at all. And, uh, it, you know, I was expecting a call by this stage. Uh, and I'm amazed they can't say they couldn't get me because you managed to get me. Now you're now through uh, Andrew Reid taking libel action against all sorts of people. Is this, what's, what's the thinking behind this? Is it just a matter of, of restoring your reputation? Well, obviously, I want to restore my reputation. But I also realise, because it happened to me, that you can get one call, you can get a piece on a programme, uh, and all of a sudden, this escalates to thousands and thousands of people who have this information. Lord McAlpha, I mean, do you regard this as... It, 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 it seems like this is something of a crusade for you. Is that, would that be a fair description? Look, two weeks ago, I was living quietly in southern Italy, gardening, uh, passing my time of day 
You have a retired figure who nobody heard of, nobody barely thought about. And suddenly, I find the whole world has collapsed on.